So we are on our way to go give you guys an empty house tour. We finally moved out of our home over right before Christmas, right? Yep. And uh, we're going back. There's a couple things that we still have to do, like leave keys, take down the security, make sure everything is in tip top shape for our new tenants. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so my man's coming with me today. And we're gonna go do those few things. Maybe snacks and lunch real quick. Yeah. Maybe. But um, yeah, so I thought it'd be fun to give you guys an empty house tour of our place. It is different than our other house tour that we did when we first moved in. We changed out lighting, we painted some stuff. So anyways, I thought it'd be fun to give you guys a little move out house tour. So, yep. that's what we're doing. <laughs> we are here. We got a couple more things in the garage. We're gonna pick up. Where's the other trash Um, one's there, and the other two should be over there. Anyways, ready for the tour? It smells like a new house because it is. All right, so we have our kitchen. Oh, guys, I freaking love this kitchen. It's so nice. But I'll flip you guys around, and I'll give you guys a quick tour of our house. Alrighty, so we have the kitchen. If you guys watched our last empty house tour, we switched out these lights and we also added all the shades throughout the main floor of the home, um, which we really loved. We also put in this um, chandelier for over the dining room area. Really loved that, that's been really great. And we have our shades in the home. So yeah, we have the family room right here. We painted this mantle. The tile was already here when we moved in, um, but we did paint that mantle black. And then real quick off of the kitchen, we have the mud room. And in the mud room, we painted this black. This was all white. Um, you guys, if you saw my like mud room bench DIY project, we um, I put in like a DIY cushion, baskets, pillows. It was actually really cute when it's all done up. So I was super happy with how our modern bench turned out. And then we have the mass, the uh, powder bath. This was super cute. We changed out the light right here to give it a little bit of a more farmhouse uh, feel. We took out the mirror and then we changed the hardware as well to black. That was actually a pretty easy project to do. And then we also have the toilet paper right there. So anyways, that bathroom turned out really cute. I wasn't able to completely finish it the way I wanted, but another time. So we have the great room. We have the super high ceilings. That's why we call it a great room. And then off of the, let's see, let's go over here. This is the front door. We have the front room, which is all nice and clean and vacuumed. Thank you, those vacuum lights are my own. And um, yeah, entryway's been super great. Right here, we have a basement door to go to the basement. And then down here, we also have the um, master bedroom. So this goes to the master bedroom. You guys, doing hardware, our um, doing hardwood floors in our master has been so great. The only con to it is that it doesn't help keep the room warm. Um, that's kind of been the only downside to it. So this is the master. And then we also have the master bathroom. We did take down the towel holder over there and then we put in, um, I put in two black shelves I really love. This is where I had my green ivy plant that has just thrived because of the steam from the shower. So that um, was a great spot to have that. But this is our master bath. It's all nice and clean and ready. Shower is clean. We're totally gonna miss that shower. It was so nice. Totally loved it. And then we have the master closet. So we didn't do anything in here. Everything's still the same. We just put in shades. So nothing's changed much. But if we ever do move back in, I definitely want to do another DIY cushion. And I also want to change out that light and just put maybe like a little area rug or something to make that a little bit more cute. So this is the master bath and the master bedroom. I'm actually going to put down this shade. And 
and then going upstairs, everything is the same in here. We have the light, um, but we have everything is ready to go. So we have the bedrooms. And then we did keep the curtain rods up so that way they weren't having to like redig holes into the rooms. But I'm gonna open up all these doors just to get some light going. And we also have the path. And my favorite room is the playroom. The only thing that was different in here is that we did the um, shade over that window. We purchased that from blinds.com and that was actually a really good purchase. I actually really, so in the next house, I'm probably going to be doing all of our shades uh, through blinds.com. It was nice and affordable and sometimes they even have like really good discounts on their shades. So I think it's totally worth it. So anyways, that is pretty much our empty house tour. Even when Ryan and I pulled up, we were like, <laughs> we really do love this house. So anyways, you have some good tenants that are moving in and um, our adventure is going to begin. And we're both really excited for it, but we're still happy that we own the house and it's not going anywhere. It's not like we sold it, but we are gonna miss it for sure. So we're just gonna go down. I think Ryan's just topping off the a uh, water softener in the basement. We get really hard water here in Utah, but um, so yeah, water softeners are a must. And I guess I'll give you guys a tour of the kitchen. So this kitchen is so big for this home. The only thing that drives me nuts is that this fridge eventually is gonna be in the garage and we're gonna get a counter depth fridge. I hate how much the fridge sticks out um, and I hate how short it is, so. When we move back in, whenever that is, we're definitely gonna put that sucker in the garage and get a new one because that drives me nuts. But this is the kitchen. Love the shades. These shades are from Park City Design. Um, they did an awesome job. They did all of our shades that are on the main floor. So that's been really, really nice. So anyways, guys, this is the house. This is our empty house tour. So anyways, you guys, this is our empty house tour. Um, thank you guys for clicking on it, checking it out. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, until next time, I'll keep you guys posted about the new home that's being built. It's currently under construction. I actually don't even think that they've dug yet. So we're still a little ways out from the new house being built. But so far, we're really excited, so. Cheers to a whole new year.